My name is Chloe Shepard. Um, I am a junior at Columbia College Chicago. I'm 19 years old and I'm planning to start a food truck called Tasty Shy. Um, you know, my food truck adventure kind of began, um, I actually did it as a final project for a class and the whole point was to, you know, come up with a feasible business plan and um, it was a final project, you know, it was our final exam um, right before summer and, you know, over the summer I was just like, hey, you know, you know, this could really work. Um, so I worked on it and busted my ass and um, all summer and, you know, really just stuck with it and kept going and the more I worked on it, the more I realized how real it could be. Well, the thing is, is that I realized, you know, c moving to Chicago, how patriotic all Chicagoans are, and they just love it, and they, you know, they just represent, and, um, you know, so I really wanted to play off that and play off the theme, because people buy into stuff like that all the time, um, and, you know, I played into it, um, so I knew it was a good thing to go with. Um, regarding the food, you know, I'm, I'm math, I'm science, I'm a business person, um, but my chef, Jim Kilberg, um, is an old family friend, he's like a five star head chef, um, you know, he's worked all over the world, in Vegas, and, um, Italy, and, you know, Miami, and New York, and all these crazy places, um, so I'm just kind of letting him go with that, and that's his job, and I just let him be creative with it. Um, the only thing that is kind of decided already is that a lot of these food trucks, they have either lots of things that they serve every day, or they only serve one thing all day every day. Um, and the thing about us is, you know, it makes more sense and it's more feasible to serve one thing but then switch it every day so that people can keep coming back each day and not having the same thing. You get more repeat customers. Um, I mean, you know, our our route situation is really, you know, our primary target is young professional mothers who, you know, don't really have time to pick up things. Um, that's really in Chicago who buys the most fast food. Um, but you know, things like Sunday pickup games in the parks, um, you know, DePaul basketball games, Columbia events, um, the financial district, all over the place. But yeah. Um, I mean, I would definitely say that my, some of my biggest competitors are the other guys out there with their food trucks now, but also even just restaurant owners. Um, you know, they, a lot of these Chicago restaurant owners, they've been here for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Mm -hmm. Um, they really know the industry and they're really, they're tough guys. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, in terms of food trucks, definitely Matt Maroney. Um, you know, I, I, it's hard to call him my competitor because I know him, you know, mm -hmm. and, um, well, I mean, first of all, you know, it's like a $70,000 loan that yeah. a 19 year old's taking out. Um, you know, I dropped out of school this semester to do it. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's all a risk. Everything's a risk. Um. Every day I live in anxiety, you yeah. know, disappointing my parents, disappointing myself, not being able to make it, um, not being able to pay off these loans, not being able to generate any income, you know, it's all a risk. <laughs> you know, the only thing I would really say is that you just gotta go for it, you know? I mean, I'm 19. I live in fear every day but you just have to you just gotta go for it you know you can't be afraid you can't live your life so cautiously and you know I'm so lucky to have my parents support my family support and you know these these chefs and these other food truck guys you know they've kind of taken me under their wing 
Um, and so I'm really lucky, but you just gotta go for it no matter what.